Hello guys, welcome back. In this video, we will be solving one of the important interview question in Python. Okay, so the question is write the Python code to find key from a map containing key and k and v pair where v is greater than 100 with explanation. So what, the, what does it mean k and v means key and value pair. Okay, so ideally in a dictionary, see you, you can take this example. This is a dictionary and here we have, see this is a key this is the value this is a key this is the value okay so the question is that you know we have to find out where the value is greater than 100 right so if i go here right 150 so i can see acha uh, the value is greater than 100 so i have to print this uh, row you can consider right this key i have to print it with value likewise i have to print this and i have to print this and i got this question from a linkedin so I thought to you know solve this with a uh, example with some different ways so that you know you will also understand the approach right now what is the question right and what will be my approach let me just discuss you before going to that I would like to introduce my python course okay so this is my python course master in python with data structure algorithms and here you can see uh, all these descriptions are written over here right and you can see the course curriculum is totally we have five modules with 42 sessions and duration is 20 almost 21 hour okay so this is not a just a you know a basic python course where you know many instructor many you know uh, many youtube channel i see i saw uh, in many udemy you know courses i saw that they they just cover the basic stuff so this is not just a basic stuff right you can see uh, we have a session uh, we have a module called uh, install python here we are we are having three chapters and then we have module one which is basic of python it covers around you know seven hours of content you can see over here what is variable data types operator so 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 right in details like we have covered in detail and then what is the request for data structure algorithm in python it is also of seven and a half hour then we have problem solving with data structure algorithm that is of four hours so we have covered around you know nine uh, sessions over here and you know i mean we try to solve a problem with the help of one up one or two approach which is used in our data engineering uh, you know da data engineering uh, uh, role okay uh, and then we have a real time scenario framework in data engineering it is it is of two uh, i mean uh, one one and a half hour but i have to i have to add more questions or more real time scenario frameworks in this module so in future i will add it right so if you are if you do not know python if you want to learn it i would suggest you go and take this course and this is uh, at very affordable price okay so you can you can check it check this course i will give the link in the description cool now let's come to this point so here what is happening that you know we have okay let me just change a pen so we have one dictionary this is also not code we have one dictionary okay and dictionary look like you know we have a and let's say some value we have b let's say we have some value c we have some 30 value you can consider this now the question is hey find out uh, find out the keys find out the keys where the value where the value is see this is called key and this is called value right where the um, now another question is value is greater than uh, 15 so what i can do i can iterate right for i in a range something i can write it right i have to iterate it so since we have a dictionary and here you can see we have two things right here we have two things like key and value so ideally i have to write like this for k comma v in and i can write here dict dict dot uh, dot items and then i we have to write layer right like if condition where v is greater than uh, this condition and you know paint it and other stuff so i just told you the basic idea of what dictionary is if you do not know so let's write a program so for that what i can do i can create one function f underscore get value something like that and here i will be passing two uh, 
two parameters one is dictionary so i can write like this this will this is gonna be dictionary and the second one is the v uh, let's say value i can add value right it's not a keyword so value should be in an integer format cool and then what i can do see if you're very beginner so i can write a code like this k comma v k comma v this is key and value in uh, that dictionary right so dictionary is m my underscore map and then if v is greater than oh v is greater than value cool and uh, if it is then i can say key hey print k right or else if you wanna you know if you want to append this into one list then i can also print like uh, i can also write like this cool and uh, this is l is equal to empty and then i can return this l simple right this is value v mm, okay this is value v and now if i call this function right f underscore get value and here i will add my underscore map comma value and let's print this then you will see we'll receive the output hmm strange value is not defined oh sorry so here i have to write this handle uh, right so if i just run this now again it is showing me an error i have to write here items sorry i missed i uh, no forgot cool now you can see 150 200 300 so you can see this is 150 this is 200 and 300 no i ask you to print uh, to print a key so right to get the key so i can uh, instead of v right i can pass a k now if we run this then you can see a c e a this is c and this is e right so this is one way to do now we became pro so we can solve this problem in one line right so how we can do see remove it everything will be same remove this instead of writing condition in a new line i can write this condition in the same line like this okay and if it is matching then i am saying get a get k that is key and i can close this into one list and just return this list cool and okay let me write one print statement here i mean calling the function here and one calling the function here the result will be same cool now there is a diff an another way to do right so this is also you know if you have done this way that is true that is good it, it you mean it, it means that you know you know something new right uh, you know advanced python apart from this we can also write here lambda function right lambda expression so lambda lambda so x comma x colon uh, what i can do i can simply for now you know i can write x right comma and uh, this my map right so i can go with my map dot items and i can return it like this so let's see what it will return it returns like this lambda ka object and then this is the you know complete uh, complete dictionary it returns okay now we have to write some filter condition here right we have to write some filter condition now you see we have used here x only we, we did not use here k and uh, v kind of thing so see if i write here like this zero then we'll see what will happen okay cool now here i have to use filter so i will use here filter right filter and i am saying i am saying and i i have to write the filter condition here so i can write this x comma i mean x of uh, zero this one so one i mean see uh, uh, uh this is 
x0 this is x1 right so i'm saying we have to you know compare value right so i'm passing a x of uh, 1 should be greater than um, should be greater than value okay and this is a condition now let me run this now you can see it returns a filter object so i have to convert this into dictionary so i convert this object into dictionary now you will see we have this a50 c uh, it returns dictionary but i need only values so i can you know iterate this and i can go with this approach again right this approach or we have one function called keys which returns the key and you can see we have a c e and after dictionary i can you know return to list but in this case we do not i mean uh, unnecessarily i am using here lambda instead of you know this approach is uh, a correct approach right or uh, this is also correct approach this is also the correct approach right we are doing the same thing but the thing is we are you know we are reducing the number of lines here right so i hope you understood this and uh, please practice uh, all these questions i guess we have covered multiple questions now in the in this playlist and please you know try to execute the program also do not you know leave it like this and uh, yeah i hope you're enjoying it thank you bye bye